Hi guys, it's BriefOS here, and welcome back to the very last part of AK PicoView tutorial. In this part, we'll be adding some animation and some effect which is gonna make your application look so cool. Well, let's get back to it. Right, first, I'm just going to add some light and blur effect to the background of the AK PicoView container. So let's go to View Controller, and in View Did Load function, we're just going to add some effect. So I'm just gonna say let blur effect will be equal to UI blur effect. And there is a style. So you can say style dot, and there will be lots of them. So I'm just gonna pick the light one and let blur effect view. This is the view that will contain the effect. So UI visual effect view with the effect that we just created. Next, we're going to add some frame and everything. So blur effect view dot frame will be equal to the picker view container dot bounds. And also with the constraints. So blur effect view dot auto resizing mask equal to dot flexible width and dot flexible height. And the last part is just going to add our blur effect view into the picker view container. So picker view container dot add sub view. And it's going to be just the blur effect view. And after we add it, it's just going to be on top of it. So I'm just going to say picker view container dot send sub view to back. So this one blur effect view. And let's see how it goes first. And here we go. The blur effect is applied to the picker view container. It looks so beautiful, as you can see here, right? And next, we're gonna add some transition when we change and when we select the item in picker view, when the background is changed and the text is changed. So we go back to the view controller and let's go down to did select item here. First, I'm just gonna create new variable which is the duration for the effect to apply. So I'm just gonna say maybe 0 0.35, yeah. And uh, there's an option for the animation. So it's the type of UI view animation options equal to dot. As you can see here, there's a very different types, right? I'm just gonna pick transition, cross this off. It's gonna be very smooth. And uh, just gonna type down. As you can see, okay. All right. So when you apply, just say UI view dot transition. There are two of them. It's gonna be with self dot previous button. So it's just gonna be applying only to the previous button. So the duration will be, yes, of course, the duration attribute that we just created and the options just going to be the cross this soft one and animation it's going to be this function here. So self dot actually just going to copy this here. And completion is going to just and when it's and when the transition is complete, just do nothing. It's supposed to be false. And same goes with the um, next button. So I'm just going to copy and paste this one and just change the previous button to the next one as well as the changing algorithm here. And in this function, we have to add self, which will identify that this is the attribute from this class. And now we're done, we can delete this too. Here we go. We have three left, which is the image, country label, and city label. It's pretty much the same actually, so just gonna copy the whole thing here and paste it and change from next button to maybe just you know, image, and uh, let's just copy this one to replace the whole this sentence. And we have to add self because it doesn't know. And uh, yeah, that's it. And now let's copy this one from background image to country label. And as well as this country label, this sentence. All right. Okay. And of course, self. Just 
just gonna copy this one, paste this one, change from country level to uh, city level. And this one is supposed to be city item. And that's it, we're done. We can delete all the three of this. Right, let's run and see how it goes. So when we select an item on the picker view, when everything changes, it's supposed to be changing with the transition. So let's see. Nice, so nice, you can see here. Now we have added the uh, effects and the transition. The last part is the bar here. I'm just gonna add some light background into our stasis bar. So let's go back to main storyboard, which is just nothing actually, just don't think it too hard. So UI view, and just gonna add some simple, very simple view. Just gonna make it very small. And uh, of course, add constraints. And let's change the opacity, just going to be about 0 0.6. And I'm just going to change the opacity for the next button as well. Um, right here. Maybe just 0.6, the same for the previous as well. So 0 0.6. Yeah, I think we have an exactly the same application as I showed you at the very beginning of the tutorial. All right, we have an exact the same, yeah. And uh, let's try. Beautiful, isn't it? So I think we're done here. And this is our application, guys. So we have the horizontal picker view successfully added. And of course, you can add any data as you like, and you can manipulate and change or extend your view controller in any way that you like. So I hope you can extend more and more. And that's it guys, thanks for watching to the end of the tutorial here. We have put so much effort on this to make this work. So if you find this helpful, please leave a like or subscribe. And if you have any question or any suggestion, you can just leave them down under the comment section below. Everybody, let's keep coding and we'll see you guys in the next one.